heard your voice on the radio. You're John Connor. Of course you know me. You were sent here to kill me. Kill the leadership. I don't know what you're talking about. Then why are you here? Blair said you could help me find who I'm looking for. Now let me down. If I let you down, you'll kill everyone in this room. Trust you, Connor. Because I don't give a shit about you. I didn't even know your name until two days ago. No. You know me. We've been at war since before either of us even existed. You tried killing my mother, Sarah Connor. You killed my father, Kyle Reese. You will not kill me. Kyle Reese is on a transporter heading for Skynet. If I wanted to kill him, I would have done him in LA. Come in. Uh, fascinating device. It's a video unit. Listen, Doc. You know, there's something I haven't told you about the night we made that. Please, Marty, don't tell me. No man should know too much about his own no, destiny. I don't understand. I do understand. If I know too much about my own future, I can endanger my own existence. Just as you've endangered yours. You're, you're right. Now, let me show you my plan for sending you home. Please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, now. We run some industrial strength electrical cable from the top of the clock tower down, suspending it over the street between these two lampposts. Meanwhile, we've outfitted the time vehicle with this big pole and hook, which runs directly into the flux capacitor. At the calculator moment, you start off from down the street, driving directly toward the cable, accelerating to 88 miles per hour. According to the flyer, at a precisely 10.04 p.m. this Saturday night, lightning will strike the clock tower, electrifying the cable just as the connecting hook makes contact, thereby sending 1.21 gigawatts into the flux capacitor and sending you back to 1985. All right, now, watch this. You wind up the car and release it. I'll simulate the lightning. Ready? Set. Release. Did he ask her out? I think so. What did she say? It's your mom! She strapped you down! Quick, let's cover the tiny! you know I was here? I followed you. Oh, uh, this is my, uh, Doc. My uh, uncle. Doc. Brown. Hi. Hi. Uh, Marty, this may seem a little forward, but I was kind of wondering if... if you'd ask me to the 
enchantment under the sea dance on Saturday? Wow, you mean, you mean nobody's asked you? No, not yet. What about, what about George? George McFly? Oh, he's kind of cute and all, but uh, not, well, I think a man should be strong so he can stand up for himself and protect the woman he loves. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs>